We will tell you about all the new and interesting tourist sites launched and introduced in the Bono East region, and of course, some exclusive history and stories about Danger Falls, the Chimai City, Kintampo, and the waterfalls available, which includes the Fula waterfalls. Lastly, we will send you to Boabin Fiema Monkey Sanctuary and the life under the forest below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Like the videos for YouTube to promote this to others. Comments are always welcome. Keep the interaction going. Yeah. I found also the animal. Hello, man. Tell me your family. Hello. For one hour. Tourism is a key economic driver in Ghana, which generates foreign exchange. It creates jobs and wealth as well as it stimulates other sectors of our economy. Tourism is currently the fourth largest source of income for Ghana, which is estimated at 2.5 million dollars which is also approximately five percent of the country's gdp The tourism industry employs an estimated 393,000 people, directly or indirectly, from hotels, restaurants, travel and tours, entertainment, recreational, tourist site management and guides, and a lot more. Countries that mostly visit and back their journey from the US other Ghanaians overseas, some West African countries which includes Nigeria and Ivory Coast, the, some European countries and others from the Caribbean because of the ancestral knowledge to the country. Our first stop is the Techiman city. Techiman is the capital of the Techiman municipal and the newly created Bono East region. Techiman is a leading market town in southern Ghana and is located at a historical crossroad of trade routes. Techiman is surrounded by the Tano River, is having a population of almost 110,000. According to oral tradition, almost all the accounts in Ghana comes from Bono. They include the Fantis, 
the, that migrated to the central or the coastal Mankesim, the Achim and the Akwemu states, the now extinct Adansi states, among others. The Ashantis defeated the Bono. After defeating the Bono, the Ashantis created a sovereignty that was known as the Bono Techiman State, which was founded around 1740. When it comes to transportation, Techiman is connected by road to Sunyane and its domestic airports. There are public transports from Techiman to major cities such as Accra, Kumasi, Mim, Ahafu, Sunyane. Takradi, Tema, Ho, Wa, Bogatanga, Elugo, Aflau, and noticeably the Libya and most northern African transport hub for migrants. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Like the videos for YouTube to promote this to others. Comments are always welcome. Keep the interaction going. There are so many resources when it comes to tourism in the country. We have historical resources, we have cultural resources which includes traditional festivals, our contemporary arts, we have handicrafts, carnivals, local cuisines and music. We can also boost of our natural or ecotourism that Ghana is endowed with all this natural beauty which includes a wildlife species of 222 mammals, 128 reptiles, 38 amphibians, and 721 bird species. We have 20 national parks and forest and savanna reserves, covering approximately 5% of Ghana's total land surface. We have 540 km coastline with sandy beaches, waterfalls, lakes and animal sanctuaries such as the Boabi Fiema Monkey Sanctuary. From Techiman we continue to the nearest tourist location at Nkranza, which is nearly 15 minutes drive from the regional capital. The entrance of this magnificent town amazed us with availability of fruits, such as watermelons and mangoes. They have clean streets 
and well demarcated settlements. Danja Waterfalls was our destination. Danja is a small village at the suburb of Onkraza. Which the waterfall and cave hike was located. We branched from the main Onkraza Edra Road and drove for more than a kilometer before we reached this wonderful place, Bets, deserted by the tourism board or maybe the community. All we saw on a holiday was farmers plying the road to their farm. Look at these trees and listen to the sound of the falls. Hear you. Let's see the place from above. The Danger Waterfall is about 100 meter feet high and one of the cleanest waterfalls I have seen. The water disappears right in front of us. It sinks down in the rocks around the base. You only see a river about 20 meters away of the falls. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Like the videos for YouTube to promote this to others. Comments are always welcome. Keep the interaction going. We decided to explore the place a little and to our discovery, wow, a hidden caves and passageways in the rocks. We returned very tired even though it was the start of our journey for the day. We were the only tourists at the time of visit. It was very early 
around the room a.m. But people might visit probably in the afternoon. We hope. <laughs> that was a goodbye to Danger Waterfalls. So we set off again to the unknown. Our target was the Boabin Fiema Monkey Sanctuary, which was estimated to be about 70 kilometers from Nkranza. The forest reserve was approaching, so we exited the road from the Nkranza to Jema at a small village called Tanko. The forest started dawning on us till we reached Boabin with its neighboring village a few meters away. Our first glimpse is a society mixed with monkeys and humans playing together. Monkeys can literally be seen on the streets, but the majority of them reside in the forest. Okay. 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 When you put your into a new friend, you are main part. But when I'm on Kinan, I said, What could it be? But in the Pavian, with their respective troops or barrels, you obviously pay a fee at the tourist office, and a guide will be allocated to the visitors. I always was called Raphael, who gave us history about the village and when the rest started coming to visit. We will cover the history in a separate video, which the link will be shared in the comment section below. We will also provide a tab here, you can click on it, so that you can view the full history of Wapni Fema. This is a journey video that we are embarking on. The monkeys found in the sanctuary are two types. We have the black and white colobos and the Campbellmona monkeys. There are a population of about 2,000 of them living in this forest. So from the view underneath it, we were wondering what is above. So we decided to have a better view from the skies and it was a speck of a scene.
Mm-hmm. Is it full? Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Like the videos for you to, to promote this to others. Comments are always welcome. Keep the interaction going. The 4.4 km square radius was in a view with our 360 degree shots. Then the two villages dwelt in a mist. And well preserved forest in Ghana with a variety of tree species. You can come prepared with your own peanuts or banana if you want to have fun with these monkeys. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Like the videos for YouTube to promote this to others. Comments are always welcome. Keep the interaction going. We set off again to our nearest city or town. I call it city because Kintampo was very, very appreciative and lovely. This is the center of Ghana according to geography. Indeed, a center with mountainous and valley views that keeps you going for more locations. Because of its geology of rocks, 
Kintampo composed of two famous waterfalls. The landscape is fertile for farming. A lot of commercial farming activities have started taking off because of the nearby black and white water river. We set off to the Fuller Waterfalls, which is about, which is about, is about 11 minutes drive from the center. We missed the road at first, but was later directed by a farmer. A small token was taken at the entrance. Fuller Falls is not well known, but I will confess the serenity here is beyond comparison. The falls is having about three levels before it turns into river again. The sound of the falls will keep you away from swimming. But to be frank, there is a large swimming pool, almost like a half Olympic pool size. But be careful when you want to swim in the deeper parts. Red ropes are used to demarcate the danger zones. You can also go and stand at the fall, uh, under the falls at the upper part, which is also dangerous. They will always warn you. We said farewell to the Fuller Falls. There is not much activity here because the tourism authority have maybe not been coming here. So no, but there was no guide to give us history about this place. The one sign that we saw, they will ask you, where are you going? Then they will stop. By the way, come again. Then they will say goodbye with exclamation mark. So I will definitely come back to the full of waterfalls. Our, our last location was the almighty Kintampo waterfalls. Falls Canteen was available to quench our hunger after a long day travels. A new canopy walkway was commissioned in 2019 to make the place attractive to potential tourists like you. There are three stages of the waterfalls, but the third stage is the one with the highest height in comparison. This stage has two staircases. One was constructed to the main waterfalls in 1996 by TSEC construction. In 2017, the Ghana Tourism Authority rehabilitated the old staircase and constructed a second staircase. The stage now has 153 steps coming up and 173 steps going down. They will tell you 
enjoy the breathtaking view of the waterfalls as you descend. Another warning they would ask you do not sit or slide on the rails that guides you and protects you from falling over the rocks. You should not have refreshment or dining or smoking at the base of the falls. It will also tell you you may swim or bath at the base of the falls, but caution the place is very slippy on the surface and you can fall at any moment so they will also caution you to be careful remember this you will pay an extra fee for working on the canopy works the walkway are currently of two levels which pass across the two valleys the four also have a location which is a recreational facility for programs if you want to have fun or want to organize a program here. All that I can tell you is that enjoy the view of King Tampa Waterfalls. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Like the videos for YouTube to promote this to others. Comments are always welcome. Keep the interaction going. And to our next video, we say thanks for watching, subscribe and share for more videos. Remember, seeing one like and a subscriber pushes us to our limits. So every small thing counts. You can comment for suggested locations to be seen. Thank you again. See you in the next one.